Find all angles in the domain where theta is between 0 degrees and 360 degrees that satisfy the given equation. Write the general solution. In part A, solve sine theta equals 1 half non-graphically using a calculator in degree mode. Before we find the solution in a calculator, let's look at the unit circle in the graph. From the unit circle, the solution is pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6. If we graph y equals sine theta and y equals 1 over 2, we get the same result. Remember, solving a trigonometric equation means find the values of theta that make the left side evaluate to the right side. We can solve this equation by using a calculator's inverse sine operation. Make sure the calculator is in degree mode. The result is 30 degrees. On the left side, the inverse sine operation undoes the sine operation, leaving us with just theta. On the right side, the inverse sine of 1 over 2 equals 30 degrees. The result of an inverse sine operation is always an angle. The following animation illustrates the role of sine and inverse sine in solving trigonometric equations. Start with the angle 30 degrees. The sine of 30 degrees is 1 half. The inverse sine operation returns the original angle. A calculator's inverse sine operation returns only one angle. We'll call this result the first solution of the trigonometric equation. We can use reasoning to find the value of the second angle. Draw a coordinate grid and label the axis angles. Sine theta is positive in quadrants 1 and 2. We can draw two triangles with an opposite side of 1 and a hypotenuse of 2. Each triangle has a reference angle of 30 degrees. The second angle is located at 150 degrees, measured in standard position. The solution over the domain where theta is between 0 degrees and 360 degrees is theta equals 30 degrees and 150 degrees. The general solution is theta equals 30 degrees plus n times 360 degrees, where n belongs to the set of integers, and theta equals 150 degrees plus n times 360 degrees, where n belongs to the set of integers. The general solution says that when the terminal arm of either 30 degrees or 150 degrees is rotated by a multiple of 360 degrees in either direction, we arrive at a coterminal angle that is another solution of the equation. The general solution gives us all angles that will make sine theta evaluate to 1 half. Starting from 30 degrees, we get sine of 30 degrees equals 1 half. Sine of 390 degrees equals 1 half. Sine of 750 degrees equals 1 half, and so on. Starting from 150 degrees, we get sine of 150 degrees equals 1 half,
sine of 510 degrees equals one half. Sine of 870 degrees equals one half, and so on. In part b, solve cos theta equals negative root three over two non-graphically using a calculator in degree mode. Take the inverse cosine of each side. The result is theta equals 150 degrees. It's possible that more than one angle will satisfy the equation, so we'll call 150 degrees our first solution. Cos theta is negative in quadrants 2 and 3. We can draw two triangles with an adjacent side of negative root 3 and a hypotenuse of 2. Both of the reference angles are 30 degrees. The second solution is theta equals 210 degrees. The solution over the domain where theta is between 0 degrees and 360 degrees is theta equals 150 degrees and 210 degrees. The general solution is theta equals 150 degrees plus n times 360 degrees, where n belongs to the set of integers, and theta equals 210 degrees plus n times 360 degrees, where n belongs to the set of integers. The general solution gives us all angles that will make cos theta evaluate to negative root 3 over 2. Starting from 150 degrees, we get cosine of 150 degrees equals negative root 3 over 2. Cos of 510 degrees equals negative root 3 over 2. Cos of 870 degrees equals negative root 3 over 2, and so on. Starting from 210 degrees, we get cos of 210 degrees equals negative root 3 over 2. Cos of 570 degrees equals negative root 3 over 2. Cos of 930 degrees equals negative root 3 over 2, and so on. In part c, solve tan theta equals 1 non-graphically using a calculator in degree mode. Take the inverse tan of each side. The result is theta equals 45 degrees. It's possible that more than one angle will satisfy the equation, so we'll call 45 degrees our first solution. Tan theta is positive in quadrants 1 and 3. We can draw two triangles. The reference angle in each triangle is 45 degrees. The second solution is theta equals 225 degrees. The solution over the domain where theta is between 0 degrees and 360 degrees is theta equals 45 degrees and 225 degrees. In the case of tan theta equals 1, all of the solutions are exactly 180 degrees apart. Only one equation is needed to describe this. The general solution is theta equals 45 degrees plus n times 180 degrees, where n belongs to the set of integers.
The general solution gives us all angles that will make tan theta evaluate to 1. Tan of 45 degrees equals 1. Tan of 225 degrees equals 1. Tan of 405 degrees equals 1, and so on.